Hi everybody and welcome. Um, so today we're going to be rendering this garage behind us here and what you can see is I've already uh, glued the edge beadings on. I'll show you a close-up of the beadings uh, in a minute but the intention is to do it with uh, sand and cement and it's going to be a render, two coat render finish. First coat is going to be four or five millimeters of the first coat which will then put a scratch on which will make it so that the next coat will adhere to it. What that will do is it will make the wall fairly smooth so all the little tiny indents from the courses of blocks where it's been pointed it will get rid of all them it'll give us a nice flat surface to finish on we're going to finish the top round here just today and then we'll put an end bead on it uh, and i'll show you these end beads here because of different types this one across the top of the door here that is basically the render kicks out a little bit and it allows it to drip off away from the wall these uh, repeat it again here and here uh, so the render that goes along the bottom here is this kind of bead in here and what it does is it sits against the wall as you can see points downwards so that when the rain comes down the render face it then comes out a bit because this is thicker than a normal render coat comes here and the, the water will drop off the end the next type of bead we've got is a corner bead here as you can see and what this does is it gives a nice clean edge to the two faces so as the render comes along here and here it gives a clean edge and it also gives it a bit of protection against abrasion so you can see it here glued on this face here and you can see it glued on the faces of the doors i'll give you a close-up in a minute and then we've got another type of uh, bead which is a mesh one which is a bit more heavy duty so let me show you these excuse me and i'll show them you now so this bead here, what you can see, is a heavy duty bead. So this is a heavy duty bead that we've got on the corner here. You can see it there. And this protects, this will protect the edge of the block work. Then we've got the same detail here. And then we've got up there, we've got the drip detail there that I talked about a minute ago. We've got an edge detail here that sits at the bottom then we've got the corner detail here the heavy duty corner detail and then we've got a lighter duty corner detail here these stop short so these stop short of it because the render is going to bend out now this distance here is what the client requested um, so the distance here to the floor is normally um, a lot tighter than it should be but the client wanted it right down to the floor um, so we'll see how that works so these are the lightweight beads that we're using around the window. The renders are going to stop here and then we'll just fill that with some form of... So the, this part here will then be filled with a mastic or a, um, an adhesive to, to seal it all off and the render will stop on this face here. This is glued with what they call over here MAP, which is like kind of um, an adhesive that you use for plasterboarding. Um, it does the job perfectly, it dries in about 15 minutes. And what you can see up there is you can see the end detail here and the, the render will finish underneath it and then we'll just curve the render around it here uh, you can see the same here over the door and he's bending down a little bit actually and you can adjust these so that as the render comes down as the render comes down the wall it'll kick out a bit so that when water runs down it'll miss the door and then the render underneath it will sit underneath it unusual bead that we've got on this project is situated here behind me so you can see it there what this does is it allows it to go around the corner I'll show you the actual bead off the wall but if you look at the wall it's glued to the wall and it allows us to create this angle I'll show you an actual bead because I've got another one to stick on the other side of the wall there we go so what you can see with this bead here is a minute let me get it so what you can see on this bead here is it has the ability to go around outside corners and also inside corners the outside corner detail and what you can see is it's stuck to this wall and it's stuck to this wall and it creates as a nice clean edge for the render to stop against and then continue in a different direction further down though we've got an internal corner which will use the same so that's uh, another day so what we're going to do now is we're going to mix a mix of 
five parts sand, one part render, and the sand is zero or two, which means that the size varies from zero to two millimeters. And then we'll get the first five mil cut and then we're gonna use a mix of five to one. So it's five parts sand, one part render. So we'll crack on with the mix. <laughs> 